preparing hard for a, a, a playoff push next season. Well, we all know for a fact that this is a no-bearing game for both of our teams. Pero sabi ng Oriental Mindoro Disciplinados, may bearing daw sa kanila ang game na ito. Dahil uhaw pa daw sila sa panalo and as much as possible, they want to finish strong as they prepare for next season. And yes, you heard that right. As early as now, they are already preparing for next season. Sabi nga ni Coach Buds, in fact, they have about 20 players training with them right now. Sabi pa nga niya, next season starts next Monday para sa Disciplinados. Back to you guys. Well, that's... Uh... Good sign if your coach uh, Buds Reyes and uh, the rest of the Mindoro fans. No, may aabangan kayo for next season. Mapapanood nyo ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League on MPTV Signal Channel 98 and or, on, on our social media channels, Facebook and YouTube. Tingnan muna natin ang, ang ating team standing sa North Division kung saan ang Quezon City eh, nandun sa ibaba ng ating uh, um, team standings, kasama nila ang Valenzuela with identical 3 and 24 records. The playoff picture not set yet dito sa North as uh, Marikina and Bataan are still battling for the last spot. Oh, oh and you just mentioned uh, this is the last week of our elimination, pero sa Delta, important games coming, especially for the two itong mga maglalaro ng ating second game. Itong uh, focusing on San Juan and Marikina. Itong San Juan, alam mo, fighting it out to keep home court advantage. Ito naman Marikina later will play to solidify yung final uh, seat natin sa playoffs. Oh, oh no, and uh, they can uh, uh, you know, move one step closer to uh, a spot in the playoffs with a win tonight. No, ang uh, sa kabilang bracket naman, no, Mindoro will finish 12th in uh, the South Division. Three game losing streak, but they have already collected four wins. That's even better than Laguna and Bicol this season. Uh oh, and uh, focusing on the six and seven spot, itong Muntinlupa and Imus. Uh, sa akin, napaka-importante ng laro ng Muntinlupa later kasi right now, they're trying to build chemistry again. Alam mo, nagkaroon sila ng mga, may mga, si JL is not there anymore with the departure of uh, JL De Los Santos. Alam mo, yung kailangan nilang aling, uling ilagay at makakita kung sino yung mag-fill in dun sa spot na nawala. Uh oh, no? And uh, diretso na tayo sa aksyon. Mindoro, Against uh, Quezon City, here's Richard Tampos for the starting line. First, for Mindoro Disciplinados. At guard number 83, Joshua Montero. Power forward number 72, John Baltazar. Small forward number zero, the Aquaman. Paolo Hubalde. Starting at guard number 14, Tay Tay Chutoro. And at center number 24, Christian Big, 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 Big Boy Hernandez. Pintoro Disciplinados is led by Pats Reyes. His assistants are Benji Chutoro and John Gray Mapala. Team manager Justin Dada, team owner is Mayor Jennifer Ina Alegre Cruz, municipality of Pola Oriental, Mentoro. Now the starting for Quezon City, Toda Action V Fresh. That guard number six, JM Berjay. Forward number 13, Harold Soriano. The other forward number 15, Kim Lo. Starting at guard number 17, Kenneth Sumalakai. And at center number 18, Kenji Roman. Quezon City Toda Action V Fresh is led by Egay Mangaraya, assistant coaches Bong Ramos and Mark Luby Bautista. Team coordinator JC Don, assistant team manager Martin Go, team manager. Here's our starting lineups uh, para dito sa Mindoro. It's State H. Odoro, Joshua Mentero, Kristen Hernandez, Paolo Hobalde, who uh, joined the 1000 point club last week, and John Baltasar. Para naman si Quezon City, Carl Subalakay, JM Berge, Kenji Roman, Kim Lo, and uh, Errol Soriano. Uh, Ika ni uh, Paolo Hobalde. Ito yung World Championship ng uh, MPBL actually dapat ano eh um, Bicol versus Quezon City pero tapos na yata yun uh, but uh, we're okay with this one uh, Coach uh, Louis Gonzalez and Sidal Tupas bringing you the action kasama ni Andrea Indicio we're live from 
the Brenzi Gao Convention Center. Errol Soriano. And uh, the head coach. Yeah, correct, Sedelf. And uh, sa akin, talagang with a mission itong dalawang kupo na naglalaro sa atin first game right now. Kasi yung starters nila, sa akin, halos ito na yung uh, strong five nila with Vindoro, Sansa, Rodel Vigan lang. Oo. Oh, Kim Lo. Intercepted by Tete. Baltasar, balik kay Chudoro. That's a tough layup. And Jeroman collects the rebound. Yan yung mga layup coach na sinasabi mo sa mga player mo na Berjay knocks down that short stab na hanapan mo na lang ng angulo para maboard mo. Exactly. And uh, because uh, every time you have that basketball, ik alam mo, ikaw yung magpo-position sa sarili mo eh, kung saan ka ba pupunta eh. Oo. Oh. Pero kudos pa rin to Tete. And din, minsan lang tayo makakita ng kanyang mga ganyang steal eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Playing the passing lane. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Oh, akala ni Baltasar, six-footer itong si uh, Tete Chodoro. Nagpas ang pasa. And two points coming from uh, J.M. Berjay, uh, which to me uh, played well uh, in their last game uh, versus uh, the Pasay Voyagers. Ang ganda ng pag-facilitate niya doong sa larong yun. Kenji Roman, offline on the jumper. Agawan sa rebound. No. Wala. Sumalakay. Yes. Okay, and uh, Carl Sumalakai makes it 4 to nothing. Yeah, good start for the QC. Obalde. Out to Baltasar. Here's Chodoro. Gets it back. Tete. Tough shot. Wala. Rebound. Hernandez. Hindi umakyat ang bola. Oo. And uh, with Christian Fernandez, no? All throughout the season, said Elf, every time I cover this guy, may mga shots pa rin na nanghihinayang ako sa kanya kasi yung effort nandun eh. Oo. So Malakay gets her his uh, fourth point of the ball game. Six to nothing. Ubalde swings it over. Good pass to, to Baltazar and Hernandez finally. Soriano back to Berjay, Sumalakay. He's feeling it. Oh, and maybe that's the game plan to attack yung defense talaga ni Tete uh, Tudoro. Bobalde. Joshua Montero. Ubalde, jumper, that's good. Yeah, that's too close for Paulo Ubalde. Almost had a triple double in their uh, last game versus uh, the Emos SB squad. Montero comes up with the steal. And he will lay it in for two. Yeah, even the match, itong uh, ball game natin right now. Uh, pati pag mamaya, pag uh, nag-start ng mag-rotate ng mga players, itong uh, both coaches natin. Lo, nabitawa ng bola, Ubalde, quickly to Montero, blocked by Kim Lo. Minabol talaga ni Kim Lo, great job there, tracking back. Uh, a good transition defense there by the QC Toda action. Tinan natin yung steal dito ni Montero. Good no call there by referees. Chudoro with a hand in his face. Oh. Yeah. Tete Chudoro gets going early. Oh, and he really wants it there. He just missed two two point blank shots. Tapos yung three pointer parang napakadali lang si Del. So, foul on Joshua Montero. This was the three earlier from uh, Tete Chodoro. Uh, naka, I don't know, set yung uh, mga paano nila dito. Oo. And uh, malaking uh, challenge to para kay Kim Lo being uh, match up against uh, Tete. It's a good match up though. Oo. And uh, mabig ang, ang, ang hirap lang nito, he really cannot go under uh, screen versus uh, Tete. Chodoro, ah, oh, beautiful move. Hindi niya lang natapos. And uh, Baltasar puts it in. 
And it's an 11 to nothing run from Mindoro. Oh, oh. Great Pero, response. Itong si Baltasar talagang always been a workhorse para sa kapunan niya, Coach uh, Bats Reyes. Ubalde pulls up. Yes. Soriano and Hernandez. And Konting Kiskisan doon. Oh, it was obvious there. And, uh, you know, itong uh, Mindoro was able to get back to the game and had, have, had this run dahil masyadong uh, nagmamadali itong uh, QC Todo action doon sa mga puntos nila. Hindi, hindi nila pinagtatrabaho yung uh, defense ng Mindoro. So, let's see what happened with uh, Hernandez and uh, Soriano. Oh, yun. That's above the shoulder. Sportsman like foul. Uh -oh. And ang, ang ganda ng reaction naman ni Christian Hernandez doon. Na mewang na lang si Del. Uh -oh. <laughs> so he's been uh, one of the regulars sa team na to, ni Coach Bud. Start of the season pa lang. Hernandez and uh, Baltasar. Yung iba, in and out of the lineup. Uh -oh. Itong dalawa, eh, Tuloy, tuloy. It's a double warning between Big Boy Hernandez and Errol Soriano for a sportsman-like behavior. It's a double warning. No. So they did, they did not call it. It's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul on uh, Errol Soriano. Yeah. Oh. Uh, elbow niya sa mukha ni uh, Christian Hernandez. Nasa ba sa laro si Kojak Meligrito? Mark Pedrosa, Andre Flores, and uh, Bangon also in the ball game. Everest, Salaronto, John Albelas, Jovit Oquemia, and uh, Jackson Mabatos. Si Romel Alcoran, ang ating uh, fourth man. Andre Flores attacks, and uh, he will draw the foul on Christian Hernandez. And uh, kala mo sa akin itong both centers ng uh, parehong koponan, itong si Andre Fer Flores and Christian Hernandez. Na witness natin itong uh, buong season na to, they were able to, uh, alam mo yun, masolidify yung spot nila dito sa liga natin. Oh, oh. Not just in the, with their team, respective teams. Si Pedrosa. Scores and uh, that breaks the, the silence para dito sa Quezon City. Tate now with Paulo Ubalde fires a three that's good and one yeah that's a ninth uh, seven point already for uh, Paulo Ubalde wala pang minuto si Del Paulo Ubalde got that shot off off the dribble with the so Mabit, si Andre Flores on the, the closeout. Robalde at the line as uh, we turn you over to Andre Edition. Although they are battling with only a few players right now, ang sabi nga ni Coach Buds Reyes, tayo tayo from the start because they don't want this to be a replay of their game against the People Volcanoes. Na overconfidence took over their team. So against QC, hindi daw sila papayag na sila ang magpapalamang o maghahabol. Biro nga ni Coach Buds Reyes parang sa texting. Mag, pag nag-text siya, mag-text back ka. Palaging dapat bumabawi. Plus he stays systematic with their plays at kanina nga during their early huddle, Coach Buds had a run-through of a play he made na inspired daw from a video from TikTok. Talaga nga namang Coach Buds Reyes does anything and everything for this Mendoro team. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, uh, Andrea. I, I, I can't believe uh, si Andrea sumisingit na ng mga TikTok sa reports niya. <laughs> but, uh, syempre, ito si Coach Buds, the ever-creative uh, Buds Reyes. Eh, alam ko na kung saan nakakukuha ni Mikey Reyes yung pagka-creative niya. Oo oh, naman. Kaya coach pa pala. <laughs> like father, like son. And uh, yeah, I, I really like the report of uh, Andrea, itong uh, disiplinados. Kasi kung titignan naman natin talaga yung istorya nitong season nila. Though, though, okay, right now, there are four, and, four wins and 22 losses. Alam mo yun sa Delphi, yung 22, 22 losses na yan, ang dami na dikit eh. Oo oh, nga. Yeah, absolutely, you are right. 
no, they, they, they had a string of heartbreaking losses. Actually, no, simula ng season eh, Coach Louie. Oo, oh, oh, against strong teams. Oo. Oh, oh. Mga teams na, na, that made it to the playoffs. Here's Maligrito. Maligrito, umatake, binigay kay Lina with a runner. Ho! Oh! Parang, parang nakita natin ulit si Francis Arnaes ah, doon sa finish ni Linang yun ah. Oo. Oh, <laughs> akala ko aabot sa kaysa mi. <laughs> Baltasar got the step on Bagot and he uh, draws the foul. Tingnan natin yung uh, dress ni Camacho dito. Simple inbound play. Eh. Wala masyadong tumikit kay Camacho. So, he knocks down that three ball. And uh, on the other end, nawala ang bola. <laughs> and napakita ulit sa floater ni uh, Lina. Time out tayo dito as uh, Mindoro up by nine with three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Mindoro still has one more game and another big one against Valenzuela. <laughs> Kaya sinasabi natin ng mga world championship sa dulo ng season. And uh, is this, I think this will be played in uh, Valenzuela home court, right? Uh, I think so. Uh, Nine-point lead para sa Disciplinados. Uh, right now so let's see what uh, coach Bots drew up in this game so in Turkey three point field goal itong Mindoro disciplinado 3 out of 5 ito naman QC to the action 0 out of 2 here's Shodoro back to Hobalde one second in the shot clock Paolo has to put it up no Baltasar good position on the box out Tapik na po ta kay Meligrito. Oh, oh, and uh, you know that's the first time na uh, off coming off inbound plays or timeout na nagmiss etong uh, Mindoro Disciplinados. Nice drive there from Kojak Meligrito to cut the deficit to seven points. Obalde gets it back from Hernandez. Paulo, good pass. Oh. What a pass, Paulo Hobalde. The big boy Hernandez gets his fourth point. And you know, with that finish of Hernandez, now you're gonna if, if natin, yung pasensya ni, ni Paulo Hobalde waiting for the right time to pass that basketball. Rebound, nakuha ni big boy. Here's Hobalde. Paolo pulling the strings, the kick out. Chodoro did not get that one to go. Camacho. Balik ang bola sa Quezon City. And uh, Pete giving up the foul. Ito nga eh, talagang uh, may importansya talaga yung laro as both coaches will not take, uh, will always take the opportunity to design something and uh, mag 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 take advantage of opportunity. Oh, oh no. 21 to 12 minutes and 30 remaining in the first period.
premium experience, exceptional stay. Boracay de la Ia is the official hotel and resort of the MPBL. And uh, we're looking forward to a visit to uh, Boracay de la Ia very soon, hopefully. Maybe we, before the start of the playoffs, it else. Nako. Hindi ka na pwede, no? Busy ka na. Kailangan pa rin yan. Pero congratulations, coach, on your first win of the season. Um, uh, para sa mga di nakakaalam, yung uh, team ni Coach Louie Gonzalez, the JRU Heavy Bombers, opened the season with a stunning overtime win over the Letran Knights last Sunday. And uh, it was good, Sedel, because uh, that's the first game uh, for the season. Ramdam na ramdam mo yung maturity na na meron eh, dun sa mga players ko that uh, nag, naglaro dito sa MPBL. Oh, no. Lina knocks down the baseline, Jay. Alam mo yung ano nga, Coach, eh, no? that we, you know, we have this uh, chat group with uh, our fellow uh, commentators na kasama dito sa panel. And... Uh, no, they, they were very they were very observant dun sa mga players mo nga na naglaro dito sa MPBL no? and the impact sa team mo and syempre they, they were in agreement ha? ibang iba yung pagbalik nila sa'yo oh, oh, and uh, you know okay, that game was so were trailing in that in, in the entire ball game pero ano yung composure nila AGM ni Marvin Judicia ni JL De Los Santos ah, it, Hindi, pare, alam mo yun, na, na, napupunta doon sa iba eh. So, walang panic talaga eh. That's true. Camacho in trouble. That's a foul on Milligrito. Wala pa sa penalty. Ang, uh... Uh, yun na natin yung nangyari dito. As, uh... Bagot comes up with the steal and uh, challenges the defense of Baltasar. Ubalde. Cross court pass. Three pointer is uh, Dada knocks down the three ball. That's the fourth of Mindoro in the quarter. Uh, oh, and uh, you know, when you, you're playing alongside Paulo Ubalde, you just have to lock in because uh, this guy. Uh, will locate you every time you're open. And uh, that will do it for our first period. The Mindoro Disciplinados, led by the veteran uh, Paulo Hobalde, in command against uh, Quezon City Toda Action. Paulo uh, hitting from beyond the arc to completing the four point play. And on the other end, Lina has been impressive coming off the bench. pass right here on the two-man game finding Hernandez underneath and at the end of one it's the Mindoro Disciplinados with a with an eight-point lead Mapa Extreme TV Man Aircon or Gas Ranges Meron yan sa Extreme Washing Machine Ref At Small Kitchen Appliances Meron lahat yan Kaya wag na palampasin at bumisita na 
sa pinakamalapit na extreme appliance store to experience a modern Filipino lifestyle. Ako, kailangan ko ng TV. Oo. Kasi naman lahat yata yan sa kotse natin, si Delphi. Oo, kakasira lang ng TV ko eh. Tapos sabi yung uh, tumawag yung technician, Sir, kailangan mo ganito, ganito. Ganito pala, Sir, ang babayaran mo. <laughs> sabi ko, sige, sa inyo na yan. <laughs> Better just replace eh, no? <laughs> sa inyo na yung TV ko. 10 of 22 in win against uh, yung Mindoro in the first quarter. 8 of 20, not bad for both teams shooting the basketball. Oh, oh. And, uh, and uh, nakakuha sila ng puntos itong uh, Mindoro through execution. Ito ng mga toda action in the latter part ng first uh, quarter. Ito ang step up defensively, kaya nakakuha sila ng mga stops and they were able to convert that into points. And uh, Zeus Pedrosa Knocks down the three. Meron na siyang limang puntos. Uh, Ken Osikos, Babab Santa Maria uh, in the ball game. Tobalde out to Dada with a runner. Not get that one to go. Pedrosa quickly to Lina. Uh -huh. Pedrosa. That's a difficult shot, but Pedrosa gets it off the glass and in. And you know, itong Jesus naman talaga. Uh, every time uh, he want, he put that responsibility to his shoulders. Talagang pwedeng mag matulungan itong uh, Lucy to the action. Kasi there are games na masyado siyang tahimik. And uh, itong sa larong ito, si Del, makita mo yung aggressiveness naman niya. Pedrosa looking to complete the three-point play. He does. Yeah, eight point already for Cruz uh, Pedrosa. Now lead down to two. That's six straight points actually for for uh, Pedrosa. Enriquez and Osikos right there. Hobalde. That's deflected by Soriano. Uh -oh, played the entire first quarter itong uh, si Paolo Hobalde. So, baka medyo nakakaramdam na ng konting pagod din sa Delft. Oh, Pedrosa is feeling it. Three-pointer will drop para kay Zeus, but there's a foul away from the ball. Uh -oh, and it happened simultaneously. So, most likely, uh, ayan na, uh, they're gonna count uh, Sus Pedrosa sa uh, three-pointer. Sus Pedrosa with nine straight points. Not the guy you want the ball with if you're uh, Vindoro. Sa sitwasyon na yun, and uh, at this juncture ng laro, lalo na sa sunod-sunod yung uh, uh, baskets dito. This is a personal nine-to-nothing run para kay Pedrosa. Oo. Oh, oh. And you know, Sus is known as a uh, you know, corner three-pointer guy. But in this game, you can see that he's more aggressive. Siya. And here he is again, Pedrosa in and out. He yeah. checked. Yeah, good line there, though. And that's Joshua Mentero. Rodel Vaigan is now in the game. Binabatayan ni Enriquez. Too close to Rodel. That's a challenge. Yeah, that's si, uh, Sus Pedrosa playing against uh, Rodel Vaigan, who leads. Uh, ating uh, liga in terms of three point percentage. Kulang lang talaga sa material sa, sa personal sa Delphi, eh, no? Oh, okay. Pero, pero yung consistency ng players nandun eh. Yeah, in comparison with other teams. Oh, oh. Montero. Oh. Had to improvise there, draws the foul. J whistled for the personal. The second team foul in Quezon City and Montero at the line. Pasok ang una.
Yeah, two for two there for Montero. Both teams are shooting uh, well. Uh, Salarong ito, itong uh, Mindoro shooting at 41%. Ito ng mga QC at 45. That's last touch on Mindoro. Ball will stay with Quezon City. 11. Evenly match up talaga, you know? uh, So expect na sa akin, talaga this game will go down the wire, Jadel. Oh. Pedrosa has missed his last two attempts. Another foul underneath. Oh, that's big. Siyempre, wala pa masyadong big man itong uh, Mindoro. Oo, oh, oh, so mangyayari talaga itong si John Baltasar will play extended minutes again. At the five. Oh, nice play. Nabitawan ni Pedrosa ang bola. Gets it back. 0 for 3 after scoring nine straight points. Montero slips. Oh, oh. misstep there. At magandang matchup to si uh, Montero and uh, J.M. Berge. John Benavides comes in. Uh, another guy also that can provide alam mo, yung scoring for uh, QC. Benji Roman. Soriano, free throw line jumper. He'll get the shooter's bounce. Uh, second leading scorer na for the uh, team uh, QC in, uh, in their last game versus uh, the Voyagers. I think si Errol Soriano. Osikos, Giants baseline. Na agaw ni Benavides. Todoro giving up the foul and Mendoro now in the penalty. Uh, uh, medyo challenging sa kanila yung combination ng five ni uh, Coach Egay Macaraya right now si Delphi. Bata itong uh, pinasok ni uh, Coach Egay. So, expect na every time they get stopped, they're gonna run. Oh, and and uh, maganda yung intensity sa depensa. Itong uh -huh. mga uh, ni uh, Coach Egay. Kasi kung yung pace ng Mindoro ang ilalaro nila, makakapitalize ni uh, Tate Teodoro and Hubalde okay, from their experience yung sitwasyon. So, might as well na i-challenge mo na lang naman sila na kaya pa, kaya pa bang sumabay nito sa takbuhan. In Quezon City, outscoring Mendoro 13-2 to dito sa ating uh, second quarter. Now they have a three-point lead. Kanya-kanyang run talaga eh, no? Uh, for our televiewers, uh, Mindoro was up in, in our first quarter, 19 to 10. Tete. Oh. Six points for Teodoro. And we're tied at 29. Enriquez. Jumper. Voila. Montero with the rebound. Binigay kay Paolo. Hobalde. Good pass. Nice pass to Baltasar running the lane and he is fouled by Kenji Roman. And uh, if uh, Baltasar wow. makes a free throw, it will be the fourth assist already for uh, Paulo Valde in this game. As uh, Tete Chodoro knocks down his second three pointer of the ball game. Pantay na ulit. One more free throw coming up para kay John Baltazar. Ito muna tayo kay Andrea. Quezon City was off to a good start during the first quarter, pero mabilis nang naka-adjust itong disiplinados. And according to assistant coach Martin Go, miscommunications and a lot of lapses on defense ang nakikita nilang problema. Before the game started, they told the boys to focus their attention on Teodoro and Hubalde, but turns out now, they are still generating points for the other team. Now na dikit ang laban, the plan is to wear out the said two players. With their last game for the season on the line, syempre gusto naman daw nilang taposin itong kanilang long-running losing streak. So Delphine Coach Louie? Maraming salamat. 
Andrea. Uh, 16 uh, game losing streak nga itong uh, Quezon City for the action. Yung Bulacan, tinapos din nila yung losing streak at 16 in their last game. And, uh, you know, in their last... Ito sa akin naman yung QC, uh, in their last game versus the Pasay. It, they lost by 8 points. And uh, maybe sa, maybe one of the closest games they played uh, after uh, starting well dito sa season natin. Well, ang nakikita ko dito sa QC, eh, unti-unti nga nilang... Uh, Nag-unti nga sila nagbabayin dito sa kay uh, Coach Egay Makaraya, Coach Dewey, no? Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, it, yun nga, no? Isasabi niya, no? He doesn't have that much talent in his team, but, you know, you gotta like yung, yung, yung willingness at yung commitment nitong uh, mga players niya. Chotoro, wala. Rebound ni Errol Soriano. 31 to 30, Enriquez. Oh, nice pass to Kenji Roman for two. Alam mo yun, ang ganda na ng grit nila every time they play. Alam mo, bata, pero ayun yung di mo ma-appreciate mo palagi. Yung lumalaban pa rin yung team. Oh, no. Nice pass there on the roller. Roman from Enriquez, Quezon City with a three-point lead. Quezon City played last week in uh, Inares Center in, in uh, Inares Sports Arena in Pasig and 72 to 64 and talo sila sa Pasay Voyagers but as we mentioned Coach Louie maganda yung pinakita nila dito na no? really no, I think tilamangan sila ng maaga dito ng Pasay but really stayed in the tails of the, the Voyagers oh, oh, they were down gay first quarter 20 to 7 to start that game uh, versus the Pasay Voyagers pero Ay nga, talagang uh, they kept themselves in striking distance. Kim Lo played well in that game. And, uh, tapos yung nakikita mo ngayon, iba't ibang players na yung uh, nakapag-contribute. Eh. It's a different combination na uh, uh, ginagamit ni Coach Egay Makaraya na nag nagbalik sa kanila sa uh, larong ito. Chudoro. Three-pointer? No? Alam mo, ang bagal ng release ni Tate, pero parang hindi mo pa rin ma-block. Ang, ang, ang layo, nasa likod kasi si Delphi, for you to block that, that shot, kailangan na uh, medyo mahaba ka rin talaga eh. O kaya, doon na sa likod eh. Bobalde? Oh, oh, oh. oh, grabe. Paolo Bobalde, mamansin ka naman. <laughs> Yung pagka-shoot uh, na layup, ayaw mo man. Sini, suplado. Tingnan mo naman dito. The crossover, the bump, the spin, and the layup off the glass. Sobrang uh, textbook nito. Oo na, parang in-school niya, in niya dito si uh, Brian Enriquez, who, alam mo, who's been uh, defending him well and uh, aggressive as well. Parang... Uh, He's been doing that for two decades. <laughs> uh -huh. And especially on that side, uh, that's, that's a mortal scene. Uh, yung sa left side attack ni uh, Paolo Hubalde. So ten points now for Paolo Hubalde. has had a decorated career from the collegiate ranks to the pros. And you know, ito et yung mga players na kahit saan maglaro si Del, will contribute eh. Uh Oo. -oh. At any level, alam mo yun, 
Kahit legal labas. <laughs> oh, they, really, you know, consummate pro. Oh, oh. Pro professional talaga ba? Professional baller talaga. But he, uh, and you see how he takes care of his body as well. You see uh, Paolo Hobalde. Yung mga kabats nito, nag-retire na. But here, still going strong, Paolo Hobalde. And Alam mo yung hindi mo rin ma-question sa kanya, yung uh, love for the game? Oo, oh, sobra. And, uh, you know, I, I was talking to him before the start of the game. Uh, he approached me, uh, yung kinomend niya rin yung uh, performance ni uh, AJ Miranda. And, uh, coach, at least may konting naitulong. And, uh, oh. it, imagine kung ganun karaming players tayo natulungan ito. Ang dami na nakasamang players. Oo, oh, oh. yung mga na-mentor niya ba? Oo. Oh, uh, oh. Along the way. And, and he is not, he's the type of player na hindi madamot oh, na mag, oh. na mag, ano, na mag share ng ng kanyang uh, knowledge and wisdom to younger players and really it's 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 the game you know yung you know yung uh, if if the game has given you a lot you know you give back to the game as well exactly and uh, that's exactly what uh, Paolo is doing I mean uh, Parang mabilis na mabagal eh. Kung like, if you see him play, parang ang bilis na mabagal eh. Kasi ang dali na, hindi niya na pinahihirapan yung basketball eh. Which to me, ito yung pinakamagandang basketball. Oh. Yung, yung simple. Well, the game has really slowed down for him. Baltasar, eh, oh. Three-pointer para kay uh, Baltasar. Pedrosa. Five assists now for Paulo. Let's see if he gets his sixth, the extra pass from Tudoro. Corner three doesn't drop. Now, siguro itong siya Coach Buds just hoping na kay John uh, Baltasar can stay and hold itong talagang kailangan niya i-cover dahil foul trouble itong siya Christian Hernandez. John Batasar contributing in other ways. Firing that three. And then naman si Zeus Pedrosa has stayed hot in this ball game. Meron na siyang 14 points. But Quezon City is down by three. Streaking Emo's team, and uh, they fell 74 to 96. As, uh, you know, in uh, in that game, Sedel, they were winning uh, in the first quarter. After that second quarter onslaught by uh, Emo's, uh, 32 to 9, uh, led by uh, KG Caneleta. and uh, Galang. Uh, Atong si KG really is playing well right now for uh, the SB squad. Ganda na pinapakita ng Imos. Parang uh, kinakabahan ako sa mga kalaban nila sa playoffs. Oo. Oh. Even with that number 7 C, eh, hindi, uh, hindi ka nakakasigurado with Imos. And, uh, you know, playoff time, that's where the big boys comes out. Alam mo yun, uh, yung uh, tumaitinatawid na lang yan yung elimination eh. Oo. Oh. Ball goes back to Mindoro. Great defensive possession there for the Disciplinados. Montero. Tete will wait for Paolo Hobalde. I'm going to like that uh, all four players already touched that basketball for the Disciplinados. Think discipline. Ken Osikos serving his options. Baltasar will get the easy two. Uh oh, and uh, it's all about spacing, said that. Uh, ayun yung naging uh, attack nitong uh, Mindoro in that last sequence. Two, three zone. Bagon 
Not ball tap by uh, Montero. Ma'am, nakakarami na rin si uh, Joshua Montero ng mga tapik-tapik at oh. uh, agaw dito. And uh, he can, he ma maganda yung match-up kasi niya sa guards ng uh, QC. Eh. Okay, right now, it's being matched up against uh, Lina and kanina naman kay uh, J.M. Berge. But what a great pass again by uh, uh, Paolo Hobalde. Lina uh, is uh, one of those games na kaya ni uh, Paolo Hobalde na talaga to you know, take control and uh, take charge. As Baltasar misses on the free throw. You know, parang naglalaro lang ng chess si uh, Paolo dito, putting everyone right pieces do sa kanilang uh, deadly spots. No. Putting them in the best position where they can contribute. May nine points na si uh, John Baltasar. 42 to 36. And Dono has restored order. So Malakai, no good. When uh, Tay Tay Chodoro on rebound. Oh, and you're gonna like if uh, Tay Tay Chodoro is jumping high for that rebound. So Balde, ini ang pick. Giving his options, probing inside to Baltasar. Not a pick, ni Pedrosa recovered by Osikos. Yeah, five check on Back to Hobalde for three. Not get the bounce. Great box out there from uh, Lina. Uh -huh. Pedrosa saw Teodoro. And ball will stay with uh, Quezon City with 11 seconds remaining in the half. So let's see. Okay, uh, hindi na pwedeng fumal because uh, both teams are already in penalty. Pedrosa gets it back. The fadeaway blocked by Osikos. May oras pa dito. Montero is ahead. Montero drops it off to Osikos. That's a turnover. A good find there, Sayang. Wasted opportunity for the disciplinados. And uh, that will do it for the first half. Great action we're seeing from uh, the Mindoro Disciplinados and Quezon City to the action. Uh, Mindoro took an early lead. Lumaba naman itong Quezon City and even briefly took the lead in uh, the second period. But the leader of the half, Paulo Hobalde, 11 points, 5 rebounds and 7 assists. Uh, Magindu naging do it all guy na talaga si uh, Paolo Ubalde for uh, his team na disciplinados. Pero evenly match. Uh, alam mo yun, kanya-kanyang streak, kanya-kanyang runs. Anong nangyari dito sa ating first half? Itong laban nitong uh, Mindoro and Quezon City.
Back here at the Brenzi Yao Convention Center for your OKBET OK Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League. My name is Andrea and Isha covering the sidelines for this ball game. And right now, we will be having our halftime interview together with Sir Justin Dada, the team manager of the Mindoro Disciplinados, and of course, Coach JC Tan, the assistant coach of the Q QC Toda Action. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me here at the half. Unain ko na muna si Sir Justin. Sir Justin, nabanggit sa akin kanina ni Coach Buds na next season starts next Monday for the Disciplinados. Is there any reason kung bakit ganun po kayo kaaga mag-prepare for next season? Ang uh, sinabi lang ni Coach Buds kay Mayora is gusto niya maganda na yung team for next season. So, nagsastart na kami ng open workouts. So, may mga ini-invite na rin ng mga possible na gustong sumabay sa practices para at least ma ngayon pa lang makakuha na kami ng bagong core namin for next season. Yung pwede namin yung dagdag dun sa current lineup namin. And tingin talaga namin yung preparation pa rin ang importante for next season. Talagang kaabang-abang yan. Ano, Sir Justin, now do you have any greetings or shoutouts? Uh, Siyempre, uh, gusto namin po salamat sa team owner namin, sa suporta niya, si Mayor Jennifer Cruz. Kung hindi naman dahil sa kanya, hindi talaga mangyari yung uh, gusto namin ma-achieve sa team. And gusto namin po salamatan si Mr. Oseke ng Mayor Paints, yung mga Mindoreños na supporters, uh, pasensya niyo sa team. And hopefully next year, eh, mabigay namin yung in-expect yung mga panalo. Thank you so much po. Dumako naman tayo sa aking kanan. Coach JC, nabanggit naman sa akin kanina ni Coach Martin that you are also a team preparing early for next season. Can you tell us more about those preparations? Yeah, maraming preparations no? kasi young team kami ngayon with a couple of veterans. And for next season, talagang nakafocus kami sa young, young players na mag-lead ng team. Uh, sila yung sa akin nakadepende, especially mga court generals namin, mga point guards. No? So, focus kami ngayon sa defense, sa play ng mga coaches, and sa player development, mga skills nila. So, marami, maraming, maraming kailangan develop. Though, ayun yung pinaka-main focus namin, yung leadership ng mga court generals namin. And we are definitely looking forward for the new and improved QZ team. Ngayon naman po, meron ka bang gustong batiin o pasalamatan? Yeah, yung team managers, Charles Kim po, of course, uh, owner, Joe Bentay, and yung mga sponsors namin, JNT Plastics, Verano Green Hills, uh, Moringa O, and Fresh, And sa mga sumusupport ng QC Toad Action. Alright, thank you so much. And that's it for our halftime interview. Don't go away, magbabalik pa rin po ang MPBM.
Nagbabalik ang inyong Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League uh, Final week ng ating regular season dito sa Frenzy Giao Convention Center And uh, the start of the ball game uh, was a hot one para dito sa Mindoro Disciplinados And they were able to sustain that in the second period Finishing the half with a 42% uh, shooting from the field in uh, Paulo Hubalde was leading the charge uh, para dito sa disciplinados. Quezon City briefly took the lead courtesy of uh, the hot shooting itong si uh, Zeus Pedrosa. But in the end, uh, itong uh, Mindoro holding on to a six-point lead at the half. Uh -oh, uh, you know, as expected, if you... Alam mo yun, kung lumalaban ka to, uh, for your pride, okay, this is what you're gonna expect, uh, said Elf. And, uh, okay, and uh, this game is a game of runs. Uh, nagkaroon ng sariling run itong uh, Mindoro. Nakabalik yung QC and uh, Mindoro was able to finish yung ating uh, first half strong. Leading scores uh, for Mindoro. Tete Chodoro, Joshua Montero with six points apiece. Uh, John Baltasar extended minutes as uh, big boy Hernandez was um, nursing three fouls. Uh, may sham na puntos and uh, Paulo Hobalde with 11 points. Uh, Zeus Pedrosa has 14 and a half. And uh, Carlos Malakay, Lina, and Berger with four apiece. Oh, oh and uh, 14 out of that uh, 26 points came uh, from Jesus Pedrosa. But you're going to like the activity of uh, QC as well because they're doing it collectively in this game. Oh, oh. Yung uh, may feeling ka na may, may patutunguhan yung mga, you know, yung nilalaro nila, Coach Lewis. Oo, oh, oh, totoo yan. And uh, right now, uh, Kim Lo being inserted back in the game, uh, didn't play that much in the, in the entire first half. And uh, he was the high, their highest scorer versus uh, Pasay. So Malakai gives it up to Roman. Extra pass, Soriano short. And uh, Soriano gets it on the second serving. Na po siya ng foul. Oh, and that's you know, what you're gonna like with uh, Errol Soriano. Plays with a lot of heart and effort. Uh, you know, this guy is just a map giving just more time. Alam mo yon, ma mas ma mas ma mapapakita ni dito yung kung ano yung pwede niyang gawin. Eh. Soriano off on the free throw. 42 to 38, uh, pressure here, galing sa Quezon City. Uh, Babap Santa Maria, Paolo Hubalde, Ken Osikos, John Baltasar, and Tete Chodoro, ang lima sa loob for Mindoro. Carl Sumanaka, Kenji Roman, Errol Soriano, Berjay, and uh, Kim Lo. Ang uh, lima for Quezon City. Uh -huh. Soriano leads the break. Binigay kay Sumanaka. He will wait for Berjay. Soriano, love pass to Roman. And that's a steal. Ang ganda sana ng hanap ni uh, Eros Soriano kay Kenji Roman down low. Eh. Medyo, lang ma medyo malakas lang talaga yung pasa. Berge leaves it to Suman Lakai. Three in transition. Halfway in, wala. Uh, Coach Ega is stick sticking to his first five. Uh, ito yung grupong to ang nag-start ng laro para sa kuponan niya. Osiko set up by uh, Obalde, just short. And uh, those are the shots that uh, itong, uh, si Ken Osiko was making last season. Kasi uh, consistent siya dun sa lineup. And, uh, kasi for this year, Sedel, medyo up and down yung uh, presence ni uh, Osiko. Eh. He did well, last, better last year. Uh -huh. Soriano to uh, Sumanakai. And uh, Sumalakai leans in for that runner off the glass. Uh oh, and that's the way to attack that zone being used by uh, Mindoro. You, you need to be aggressive attacking that basket. Because hindi pag naging passive ka dyan, most of the time, maubusan talaga kayo na oras eh. Sudoro 0 for 2 so far here in the half from beyond the arc. JM, Berjay, low, down low to Soriano. Sorry, miss again for Errol. Alam mo yung effort dito sa taong to, hindi nawawala. Eh. Ceiling down low, automatic talaga. Uh, 
Pelican Rosel by Gan being inserted back by uh, coach uh, Bud Reyes. It's a struggle here, no? and uh, that's a poor pass, uh, backward violation. Maganda yung coverage kay uh, Rodel sa game na to. He hasn't scored a basket yet. Ubalde. Bidding AK Baltasar. Five on the shot clock. Babap. Crossover ni Babap. Santa Maria spins and misses. Ganda ng move. Natapik kay Baltasar for three. Wala pa rin. The battle underneath and big boy Hernandez forcing the out of bounds. So, and that's what you're gonna like with uh, for uh, Christian Hernandez. So. Marami talaga siya nakukuha sa ganyan eh. And uh, marami rin siya madalas namiminti sa ganyan. Sa, yung effort niya talaga eh. Naagaw ni Roman. Binigay kay Sumalakay. Baltasar challenging him, no good. J. Ember J on the stick back, no. And uh, Mindoro uh, uh, able to come up with a stop there. Oh, oh alam mo yun, a lot of point blank misses okay, uh, for the QC team in this quarter. Again, this is the last uh, of uh, QC. Talagang uh, itong si Coach Egay uh, inserting all of his players. Talagang uh, nagamit niya na lahat si Delph. Eh. You see the bench. Okay, very animated. No, ang uh, bench itong Quezon City. Talagang uh, tumutulong dun sa uh, pagsigaw. Oh, oh, alam mo yung, I, I've been uh, with a lot of tournaments already. And it's always good, a good feel. Na every time you end the season with a W. Oh, no, and uh, syempre hanggang uh, you know, 12th, 13th man, engaged sa laro. Oh, oh. K kahit hindi sila naglalaro. Law attacks. He will miss. Tobalde quickly to Babap. Baltasar, big to big passing underneath. And Hernandez draws the foul. Mindoro has yet to score here in the third quarter. Tama po na kahit 50% lang ng mga point blank shots ng uh, QC na convert nila. Lamang na sila dito dapat eh. That's true. And they're making the stops, pero they're not, hindi nila nakoconvert into points. Five points and six boards. 43 to 40. Flores, top. Macrim's a shot. Hernandez, Minigayke, Baba. Here's Santa Maria. Vaigan. Looking for a teammate. Uh, oh, struggle talaga si Rodel. Ang ganda ng coverage sa kanya. Oh, what a pass. Babap Santa Maria to uh, Big Boy Hernandez. Oh, uh, great setup there. Si Babap coach sa JRU din galing to eh. Mm. Sino kaya ang kasabay taga, niya? Medyo, ma, medyo matagal na yun. And uh, taga, para alam ko, taga Mandalu yung to eh. Flores inside. Almost a walk there. Great defense there as always by John Baltazar. Ubalde. Wala na to, uh, skip pass nito si Lo. Wala na siyang choice. Wala na siyang choice kundi talaga hawakan na lang. <laughs> Nori natin yung exceptional pass of the game brought to you by Boracay de la Ia, the official hotel and resort of the MPBL Santa Maria to Hernandez. Tatlo ang uh, na-attract na depensa ni uh, Babap Santa Maria. May konting tulong pa galing kay Lina. May header pa si Delphi. <laughs> Oo. Alam na alam mo yung header na yan. Oo, siyempre. <laughs> Mga jargon na hindi mawawala sa utak. <laughs> Pero imagine, oh, yung kahit na 
every time I watch football, I've been with with a uh, European school for a long time, di ba sa Delft? Alam mo yung pag, pin, pag pinapanood ko sila, yung mag-header, i-header yung malakas na oh, okay. kick. Parang baliwala eh. Actually, masakit siya. <laughs> masakit siya. Kaya bilib ako sa mga players talaga. <laughs> And the pace of the game as well, uh, Coach Louie. No? It's a. Uh, kaya alam mo pag nakita mo mga football player, naglalaro sa basketball. Grab yung advantage talaga nila, kasi yung kupara mo sa ordinary yung basketball player. Ang bilis talaga ng football player. Oh, oh, and uh, you know, sa akin, uh, yeah, that's a good, strong attack by uh, Andre Herna Flores there yeah, versus Christian uh, Hernandez. That's a maaga na naman. Ah, pat na? Oo. Oh, oh. Wala. Yeah. So, so, suotin na ni Jan Baltasar yung responsibilidad. Maniwala ka. <laughs> They were hoping na aabot niya itong uh, tatlong foul ni Hernandez up until the fourth. But we're midway through this third quarter. Like, and going back to what we're talking about, no, and uh, actually, ako, I, I myself experienced na kung galing talaga sa football yung foundation ng player ko, papunta sa basketball, you know, passing will not be an issue. Because they're so used to it. Uh -huh. Alam mo yun yung passing and spacing, automatic eh. No, eh, hindi talaga pwede yun eh, na magsulo ka dun. <laughs> Here's Obalde, putting the move on Pedrosa, Kojak. Strong hands uh, from Milligrito. Lina, back to Milligrito. Contra Chempo si Kojak, and he scores. Plus one. Uh, and finally, a, a point-blank basket made for the Toda Action team. Slow mo dito si Kojak. Eh. Oh! Yeah, may konting tulong pa coming from uh, Errol Soriano, sealing down low. Itong si uh, Christian Hernandez. Wala na, hindi na makakakilo si Christian doon to challenge that shot. Kasi alam niya, hapat na fouls na siya eh. Kodrak Menegrito, the former left run knight. Was part of that team in the late uh, 2000s. Sabayan nila RJ Hazul, uh, Dino Daa. Uh, sino pa ba? Si... Um, John Paul Alcaraz. Oh, oh. Alam mo yun, and, uh, that yung yung laro ni ko Jack. Uh, hindi na nag uh, alam mo yun. That's e, e age. Pero yung aggressiveness niya, yung gigil niya sa paglalaro, stays it. Eh. Oh, oh, walang uh, pinagbago. Staple din to sa lineup ni Coach Dewey alas dante. Eh. Oh, naman. Yeah. Hernandez scores. May bawi si uh, Kristen Hernandez earlier. <laughs> you know, every time he makes a basket, talagang uh, nag smile back siya dito sa mga defenders niya. Eh. Hernandez right there. And uh, you know, this guy, okay, all throughout the season, he's been battling inside, you know, where the big boys play. Hindi talaga biro. Actually, <laughs> you know what, Coach? He, he's actually lost a lot of weight uh, oh, oh, totoo, from yeah. the start of the season to now. And I think that's one thing na talagang hindi na bibitawan ni Coach Bud Reyes na alam mo naman na uh, as reported by Andrea, yung season nila starts month, yung uh, preparation nila for the next season starts Monday. <laughs> yeah, no, Soriano underneath scoring and uh, Baltazar is fouled. He is claiming, Kojak is claiming na hindi na hawakan. Yeah, will uh, Coach Egay challenge this? Are they going to review that? Yeah, because it was uh, definitely, uh, gonna, he's going to ask for that, for that one because it was one white shirt versus four blue shirts.
We have a stoppage here. And under four minutes remaining in the third period, Labang Panena Mindoro, 50 to 46. Coach Bud Zreyes and the Disciplinados looking for win number five of the season. Nori natin yung uh, nangyari dito as a. Uh, No, yun, tumama oh. sa kaliwang paa ni Kojak, yung uh, kanang paa ni Baltasar. Pero maybe Coach Ega is saying na parang it's too, too close. Eh. Alam mo, masy parang masyadong manipis para ipito pa. Yeah, so, but, but medyo alanganin din. Eh. Tumawit siya eh. Oo, oh, oh. naka-apekto pa rin. Oo, oh, naka-apekto sa... And Baltasar was already going up. Mm -hmm. Before automatic. Technical yun eh, di ba? Oh, yung crossing. Crossing, crossing. Oh. <laughs> crossing malapit din sa ano yun ah. <laughs> One right away. <laughs> There's Jan Baltasar. Comes up with a rebound. Vaigan fires a three. Vaigan, he will try again. And he'll get it. Yeah, that's why if you talk about three-point shot efficiency, he'll not gonna miss twice. An o, an o, sa, especially with an open three-pointer, itong si Rodel Vaigan. And uh, they forgot about Rodel Vaigan. Uh, Pedrosa was leak, leaking out. And Rodel Vaigan rattles in a three-pointer. Nine points na ang labang ng Mindoro. Three and a half minutes remaining in the third. Del Vaigan, uh, third quarter man para dito sa Mindoro, had 15 points, including 11 in the third canto against Imus. And uh, he's been consistent all throughout the season uh, for uh, Coach Bud Reyes. And um, made an impact uh, itong si Rodel Vaigan on, on his first year dito sa MPBL, pero sa akin si Del, itong season na to ang pinak sa akin ang pinaka-consistent niya. No, nga. No, si Pansiro Del Vaigan has uh, si Pedrosa Belegrito offline. It's Paolo Hobalde with another rebound. Already has nine. Uh, 13 points, nine rebounds and seven assists. Closing in on a triple-double. So, si Paolo Montero reverse. Wala. Rebound. Napunta kay Soriano. Steal by Baltasar. Good Extra time. pass to Osikos. Nagpas. And uh, Baltasar cleans it up. 13 points now para kay John Baltasar. Uh, 13 points kay, with 11 rebounds. Talagang, uh, alam mo, magiging mahaba yung uh, laro niya dahil nga sa foul trouble. Ito nga si uh, Christian Hernandez. Eh. The Pareo teams has a penalty na, and uh, Kojak Milagrito draws the foul. Let's watch this play from Baltasar. Had the right idea, Coach Louie, pero hindi siya na give up dun after the miss from Osikos. Uh -huh. Yeah, comes for the ball, automatic. Uh, making sure that uh, yung possession, uh, kung may pagkakataon, uh, nandun pa rin siya sa sitwasyon, itong si uh, John Baltasar. Oh, 57 to 47, rather. There's Obalde. Baltasar. Trying to make plays for Osikos. Uh -huh. 
Ito yung uh, aspect ng laro ni Jan Batasan na in-explore niya sa game na to. And uh, this is what you're gonna like. Oh, kung papaano, alam mo yun na uh, inayos ni Coach uh, Batch yung chemistry. Then look at the turnover sa sa akin, 9, to 11, 9 for the disciplinados, 11 for the QC. Kaya sa Delft, maganda, may quality yung laro eh. Uh, alam mo yun, nagtutul nagtutulungan sila ka sa both mentors. Uh, ay, ano, knowing Coach Egay, knowing Coach Buds, talagang pinipreach nito yung teamwork at ball movement eh. Yung Paolo Hobade gets a breather. Binalik si Tete Chodoro. So, Malakay at the line. Good on the first. Seven points Seven now. Seven points. And what about Ero Soriano? Uh, six points, 14 rebounds already in this game. Ayan, Muntik Paule. Pedrosa getting the tap. Osikos ahead to Montero. Tete. Two minute mark in the third quarter. So two screens. Uh, Montero drives and a foul on uh, Enriquez. Talagang kailangan mag-operate na niya Montero doon sa sitwasyon na yun. Uh, especially capitalizing na alam mo na sa left side mo si Tete Tudoro that uh, definitely a defender will stay home versus him. Tapos nasa kabila naman si Rodel Vigan. This ang unang free throw ni uh, Montero. Montero also goes one for two, 58 to 48. That's off, Baltasar. Wow. So let's see. That's a correct call. Oh? Yeah. Tumama sa ba kay Baltazar eh. Uh, from our angle, it seems like uh, the ball hit uh, John Baltazar's shoulder. Eh. After it was tapped. So baka, baka yung pagtama dun sa balikat ni uh, Baltazar si Delph, may tinamaan pang isang blue shirt. So Coach Egay... Uh, Using his challenge uh, doon sa last, sa last call ng ating uh, mga officials. And uh, Coach Egay issues the, the coach's challenge. Challenge was successful. Challenge successful. Actually, he didn't need no. to make the challenge. Like, ano na eh. Nag... So, let's see. Tama na yung tawag niya. Okay, tama na yung tawag niya. Ginorect ng isang referee. Kaya napilitan siya mag-challenge. Oo. No. Nasayang pa yung challenge. Actually, nasayang ang challenge. Oh, oh totoo yun. It was a good call already. Eh. And, uh, you know, itong challenge na to, so that's one adjustment that I need to do uh, doon sa NCAA right now. Kasi natatakot taong gamitin yung challenge ko, baka mawala na, mabawasan ako ng timeout. <laughs> I mean, I mean, wag ka maniwala sa mga player mo. <laughs> Coach, challenge mo, challenge mo, wag, wag. <laughs> I mean, with sa amateur kasi, you're only gonna lose the challenge, but you're not gonna lose a timeout. Okay. Oo, oh, ganun sa amateur. And uh, dito sa MPBL kasi inadapt natin yung uh, ina iba yung inadapt natin eh. And Soriano finishes. Okay. Uh, oh, not a good a good idea there by uh, Montero. Ganda ng uh, tapos dito ni Eros Soriano had to stay strong. 
A big control there. He's been playing well. It was Errol Soriano. Yeah, eight points, 15 rebounds already. Alam mo ito, parang ito, uh, smaller version ni Chris Dumapig. Oh, si Errol Soriano. Oh, yung mahilig, uh, he plays with a lot of effort, always running runs, and always still down low. A beautiful move from Josh Montero. Nine points in the ball game. Ten point lead for Mindoro. Soriano from the corner. No. Hey, Pito. And it looks like it will be a loose ball foul. Nice finish here. Uh -huh. Using the left hand. A move that every small guy has to have. Especially knowing that you have a foot speed advantage versus the guy na re recover sayo. Denji Roman is uh, at the line. Yeah, third point. Pero completo, no? three points, five rebounds, and three assists already for uh, Kenji Roman. Yeah, free throw story, uh, three, uh, 13 out of 19 for, uh, the, for the disciplinados. Uh, seven out of 13 naman para dito sa QC production. My gun. Fake, one dribble pull up, voila, rebound. Yeah, the last touch on Osikos. Clear, last touch there by Ken. So 10.9 seconds to end the half. So let's see, I, it is a high scoring ball game, said so Well, by their standards, actually. Enriquez. Umatake, a fade away, voila. Teodoro has time. Tete fires. No. By gun. Wala rin. And, uh -oh. uh, and you know, if, if uh, Tete made that shot, sigurado ako medyo makakarinig yung uh, player that missed on that last sequence. Kasi, pang last shot na yun eh. Oo, uh -oh, para may, may nadali pa eh. Oo, uh -oh, naging tatlong possession pa. Uh, John Baltasar, double-double tonight. 13 points, 12 rebounds, and 3 assists. Malakay John Baltasar extended minutes due to the, the foul trouble na kay Kristen uh, Hernandez and uh, he's helped Mindoro build an eight point advantage heading into the fourth quarter. Presenting our uh, Suzuki muscular and sporty fan of the game, just like the Avenis, do more and achieve more with a muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki, the Avenis. Oras na para magmotor. Fourth quarter tayo dito. The Brenzi Giao Convention Center, Mindoro against Quezon City. Na mga Mindoro, eight points, and they will have possession to start the final quarter. Again, uh, they're blitzing now. Itong, uh, si uh, Paulo Hernandez. As, uh, Paulo Balde, because uh, he re is really doing a lot for uh, the disciplinados. And then the one si, uh, Joshua Montero dito. So, Osikos, Montero, Balde, Chodoro, and Baltasar. Quarter scoring. Mindoro 24 16 in the first. Rumawi yung QC, 20 18. And uh, in the, the third, 18 to 16. Although, 
itong uh, Quezon City, maganda yung simula nila nung third quarter na yun, ha? Oo. Kaya, uh, they were able to keep the game close. And, uh, uh, ito nga yung titignan mo, eh. Yung start ng third quarter, ang dami nila kasi si Delph na na-miss na shot sa point lang. Oo. Enriquez to Sumalakay. Three-pointer. No. He gets his own miss. Attacks. And lays it in for two. Hernandez is ahead. Uh, Baltasar is ahead. Then he will finish. Oh, good find there. That's uh, the eight assists already from uh, Paulo Hobalde. And he's, he's got 15 points, Paulo Hobalde. And, ba and Baltasar, no? Uh, yeah, though. Parang they, nakakaramdam na ng konti doon sa... ng cramps itong uh, si Jan Baltasar. He's limping. Oh, oh. Pero Soriano continues to play well. And Coach Buds will burn a timeout. Para ilabas dito si uh, John Baltasar. Oh, oh, as you can see it, doon sa calf niya, medyo umaangat na eh. And uh, he's been doing well in this game. So, okay, like this guy, itong si uh, Eros Soriano. Early timeout here in the fourth. Mindoro ahead by six. Back inside the Bren Giao Convention Center for this uh, MPBL Tuesday matchup between uh, the Mindoro Disciplinados and uh, Quezon City Toda Action. Quezon City in their final game of the regular season. MPBL officials here, uh, Emer Oreta on the left and uh, Commissioner Kenneth Dorembes, Security Chief Rudy Distrito as well. Satar Makantal, part of our operations group. Joshua Montero. Now with Tete Chodoro. Quezon City tightening up defensively. Osikos got tripped. Uh -huh. And it's a turnover. Sumalakay down low. They go to Soriano, but play broken up by Paulo Hobalde. Medyo malakas din yung pasa ni uh, Carl Sumalakay doon, no? And uh, you know, Sedelf, uh, though we're, we're nearing the end of the elimination, alam mo, yung three games natin today, nag, ang ganda rin nung uh, magiging story eh. Kasi like this, uh, the two playing right now, this is a battle of pride. Uh, yung, yung susunod na game naman natin, alam mo na importante, importante for their team standings. And, and this is something that uh, Christian Hernandez really has to get out of this system. Uh -oh. The useless fouls. And, and it's an unsportsmanlike foul too. Uh oh, and uh, plus, a, plus a basket for uh, BJ Lina. Uh, yung game niya nag-improve. Impressive yung improvement. But the maturity as a player, I think that's one thing na kailangan talaga i-work out oh, dito ni uh, Christian Brian Hernandez. Well, eh, for most of the season, He's been battling foul trouble. Uh -oh. And, uh, you know, yung, yung opportunity na, you know, when you're in foul trouble, mas nawawala ka mag opportunity to contribute sa team mo eh. Oo, oh, totoo yan. And uh, especially with the trust that's being given to him by uh, Coach Bods Reyes, baka pag sa ibang kuponan siya maglaro, hindi niya makuha yung ganyan kahabang uh, playing time. It's a double foul on Soriano and Vaigan. And just a three point game here. Uh -oh. And as early, no? that's the second team foul for uh, Mindoro.
Rebound, Pedrosa scores underneath. Uh, was quiet in that third quarter, pero then again, eh, nag, uh, contribute na naman itong uh, si Jesus Pedrosa. Now lead down to one. Obalde, five on the shot clock. Paulo, stop and pop, yes sir! And you know what you're gonna like in that move by uh, Paulo Hobel there was uh, before the shot, yung konting push kay uh, Errol Soriano to create that separation for that j for that uh, mid jumper. So Malakai, wala rebound. Napunta kay Paulo. Is Obalde on the move? Vaigan fires a three. Yes. There's no call there on Rodel Vaigan. So let's see what happened there. That happened right in front of our, our game officials here. Oh, that is clearly a foul. Naman tumama no, sa katawan ni Rodel Vaigan. Tumama naman sa kamay niya oh. yung... Uh, Alam mo yun, na, 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 napaka-elaman pa rin yung cylinder. Kasi madalas ang tinitignan natin dyan yung paa eh. Diba? So, alam mo yung parte pa rin ng uh, cylinder niya. Yung uh, kamay ni uh, Sumalakay there. But the ball was already inbounded so hindi mo na ma-challenge yun. So, uh, Paulo Hobalde, one assist away from a triple-double. Lina gets into the lane and pulls up. Uh, capitalizing, uh, medyo uh, nasa gitna ng uh, pick-and-roll defense. Hindi, uh, may, hindi masyado klaro yung uh, ball screen defense nitong uh, Mindoro doon sa sequence na yun. Montero. Lost it to low. Lina. Low. Nabatay ni Montero. Soriano. Seven to 63, Baltasar will come in for Ken Osikos. Disciplinados, no choice really but to play with um, itong lineup na maliit. Hernandez already fouled out. And with, foul right there on Montero. Uh, and then with six minutes left in the clock, talagang uh, you, just hope, you just hope na matagalan pa ni uh, Jan Baltasar. Siya na lang kasi talaga yung uh, maglalarong legit center right now eh. So Balde. Crossover by Paolo. Sidesteps his way into the lane. He'll get two free throws. And you, you know, you don't give him that much space to operate. go to Andrea and Disha for this report. We often hear the name the Aquaman here in the MPBL and of course that is no other than the veteran Paolo Hubalde. Kwento niya dito lang rin daw sa MPBL nagsimula ang moniker na yon. It started way back 2018 nung lumabas daw ang film na Aquaman that year. Well, he was able to have that pen name hindi lang dahil they had the same long hair noon but because of the fact that Paolo does everything inside the court even diving selflessly for loose balls. And for Paolo, he's actually happy and honored to have a superhero moniker because this is indeed a sign that he is doing good and is making a mark sa mga basketball fans. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, uh, Andrea. Let's see, uh, Paolo Hobaldi. Wala na kailangan patunayan to sa basketball sa Pilipinas, but here he is. Still playing the game he loves. And uh, still continuing to, is to inspire. Ito uh, mga young players dito sa atin uh, sa MPBL. 
The Quezon City burns a timeout here, 68 to 63. Mindoro still ahead, 521 remaining. Soriano, 12 points in the second half against Pasay. And they're really working hard in this ball game as uh, he will try to lift Eton Quezon City to the action to a win to close out the season. Already with a double double, 10 points, 7 boards. And for more on Ero, let's go to Andre Edisha. Errol Soriano had a rough start with Quezon City this season at nung tinanong ko siya about this, his reason was nagulat daw kasi siya sa amount of minutes na binibigay sa kanya dito sa QC. Ngayon niya lang daw kasi naranasan na mabigyan ng ganitong klase ng playing time here in the MPBL. At syempre, he can't stay in shock for a long time kaya naman kinuha daw niya lahat ng kanyang kumpiyansa from that kind of trust na pinapakita sa kanya. And now he is contributing well for his team. Sa katunayan nga niyan, Errol suffered from a hamstring injury sa first quarter ng game nila against Bataan but ended up being the key player for their team that game. And yes, you guessed it right, guys. Hindi pa rin siya magaling right now but still chooses to give his best for QC. Back to you, guys. Maraming salamat, Andrea, for that report. And uh, si Errol Soriano, you know, it, that's, what you, that's what happens when you get opportunities like that. That's a charge. Oh, oh and, uh, and I was about to say that uh, along the way, along the season, there are games that he, ne he has to be sit out because of uh, that hamstring injury. And uh, si Del, alam naman natin ako, as coach, isa yan sa mga injury na kinakatakutan ko kasi medyo matagal yung healing niyan eh. And uh, pag kala mo okay na, ang problema, bumabalik eh. By Gan. Gives it back to Paulo Hobalde. Yes, to Malakai. Paulo. Tete has to fire from way out. Baltasar with a rebound. Bob up for three. No. Yeah, Jan Baltasar still not yet done in this game. The turnover for Quezon City. Obalde. What a shot what a there. Shot. <laughs> well, unable to finish. You see, Paolo stays down on the floor. Yeah, four against five. And a foul. Will go against by Gat. Uh, uh, and uh, Etong Mindora already in a penalty. So that means uh, two free throws for uh, Carl Sumalakay. Uh, Carl Sumalakay. Yeah. Ten point already. Plus eight rebounds. This is Pangalawa. Kim Lo. Put back is good. Yeah, Two point game. Yeah, finally a basket uh, for uh, Kim Lo. And we need a timeout to Coach Bud Reyes. They will have one timeout remaining with uh, 335 left in this ball game. Magbabalik ang inyong MPBL.
Montinlupa will be in action later on. Nakita nyo kanina sila John Amores on your screens. And uh, GJ Ilagan as well. Eh, medyo maaga sila dito, Coach Louie. Oo, oh, and uh, again, uh, say, as a player, when it, kung alam mong importante yung laro as much as possible, ang gusto mo, makasettle down na ikaw agad eh. Ako, minsan, pat jump ball na dadating. <laughs> Late eh. Just in the nick of time. Oh. <laughs> so, Balde, one assist short of a triple-double here. Paolo, for three, yes! Yeah, that's big. That's a big-time basket coming from uh, Paolo Ojo Balde. Off the timeout nitong uh, disiplinados. Turnover for, Min for Quezon City. What a pass to Santa Maria. Unable to score, though. Ah, yeah. Ayaw pa dagdagan ni uh, Paolo yung assist niya, pero gusto pa dagdagan ni uh, John Baltasar yung kanyang uh, production sa kasalarong ito. Double-double naman. Ito ang oh. pinatrabaho uh, uh, ni uh, Baltasar as Pedrosa knocks down the three. 73-69. Mindoro not out of the woods yet. Paulo drives and scores. Sabi ni Paulo. Sige, ako na lang. Dire-direcho na to. And, I mean, matching is numbers in their last game versus Imus. Pero, dinagdagan niya na in terms of points. Because in that game, almost a triple-double Flirted with triple double also Sedelski. 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists. He's got 21 now. Paulo Hobalde, and he can add to that tally here. Make that 22. Yeah, oh, and uh, more importantly, uh, extended yung kanilang kalamangan to 7. Just over two minutes remaining in this ball game. Lina will fire and hit. Uh, si BJ Lina, six points from that same angle, same spot. Approaching the last two minutes of the ball game. Soriano ang nakabantay kay Tete. Jodoro attacks. Inamita na konting pectos. That uh -oh. won't work. Sayang, no? Roman is yeah. open for three. Wala. Rebound ni Paolo Hobalde. That's rebound number 11. Finds Jodoro for three. No. Minute 30 remaining. Good Nina pass there. To Soriano for the two points. And uh, Coach Bud Reyes not willing to burn his last time out of the ball game. 12 uh -oh. points para kay Errol Soriano. So let's see kung ano yung nila dito. Kasi ang dami na kanina, puro pick and pop eh. Almost a foul there. Oh, uh -oh. Vaigan swings it over to Chiodoro. Wala pa rin. And that's a foul on Rodel Vaigan. And that will send Sumalakay to the line. Yeah, pero ni, wala, you cannot ask for more. Uh, okay, though uh, Tete Teodoro missed his shot, that's an open shot, so that's, that's and, you're gonna give, and you're going to give it to him. And uh, five fouls that is Rodel Baigan. Teodoro just short on uh, that release. So important free throws for uh, Sumalakay. No. no. Double, double also for this guy. No. Ganda rin yung pinapakita ni Carl Sumalakay off no. the bench. Two for two. So one point lead para sa Mindoro Disciplinados. That's our last timeout of the ball game as well. And uh, 
62 seconds remaining in this ball game. We'll be right back. Back inside the Brenzi Gao Convention Center, it's a one-point game. Indoro with the lead, and they will have the possession. Paulo Hobade working on a uh, triple-double. Nine assists for Paulo, so he's one short. Has 11 rebounds and uh, 22 points as well. Jodoro uh -huh. fires. And uh, and that wasn't the shot that you wanted, Coach Louie. You wanted to get a high percentage look. Oh, uh, and uh, actually, they've been doing that si the entire uh, second half, setting up itong si Tate Teodoro sa mga mar sa maraming elevator screens. Here's Sumalakay. Yeah, seven on the clock. That's a double dribble. So, 24 seconds. The shot clock, 31 and game clock, 7 second differential. One timeout remaining para dito sa Quezon City, Wanana for Mindoro. So let's see. Meron pang matitirang oras si Del. Hobalde makes his move, puts it up. And uh, Paulo Hobalde taking charge. Uh, para dito sa Mindoro Disciplinados. Oh, oh. And, uh, you know, in performance to Paulo Hobalde in this game. So that what can you ask for? Oh, oh. Turns up the Jets. May konting bangga. And the veteran smarts right there. Oh, oh. And, uh, you know, almost played the entire ball ballgame. Uh, 36 minutes. Inside, Adam Ayana contributed 24 points, 11 rebounds, and nine, and nine assists. And uh, Paulo Hobalde has put itong uh, Mindoro on his back. Itong si Coach Egay calling his uh, last time out. So let's see kung ano yung gagawin ni uh, Coach Egay Makaraya. And, and mahirap kasi ito dahil uh, are you going for a three or are you going for a quick two? Knowing na wala nang time out yung uh, kalaban mo so hindi na magkakaroon ng lol no so if they no if mag quick two sila they have to give up the foul immediately oh ganoon yung mangyayari so kung ang instruction mo diyan tuloy-tuloy na now if mag miss if you make it this is what we're gonna do so let's see kung ano yung dinisay ni uh, coach Egay here hindi ako magugulat if uh, siguro si may set up din para kay uh, Kenji Roman dito. Or kay uh, Zeus Pedrosa. And a foul on Paulo. 11 seconds remaining. They have to secure the rebound here if you're Mindoro. Uh Oo. -oh. Kasi pag imimintis ni uh, Lina ang uh, pangalawa. And they still have a chance. So, dito mo kailangan si Christian Hernandez sana. Uh, John Baltasar is there. Pero iba pa rin pag meron kang uh, mas malaki. And lalo na nandyan si Kenji Roman. Oo. So, both teams already in penalty. Both teams, no more timeouts left. So, tingnan natin kung paano nila ipifinish to. And they give up the foul on Paulo Hobalde. 78 to 77. And put 
Hobalde to the test here. A lot of time left. Paolo. Oh, he misses the, the first. Uh -oh. Paolo Hobalde. Yeah, it's six out of ten already from the foul line. Anthony Mendoro missing 18 free throws in this ball game. May fatigue factor na rin sa Delphi. Eh. Na hindi mo na masisi dahil talagang kinayod niya buong laro eh. And it's a very short rotation as well. Enriquez is back in the game. Quezon City, a two-pointer will tie the game. A three-pointer will probably give them the win here. Oh, uh -huh. so let's see. Lina. Enriquez. Had to adjust Osikos with the rebound. And Tete Chodoro doing just enough para mapigilan itong tira ni Enriquez. Throw, threw him off. Uh oh I mean, And that's where maturity comes. Uh, ito sa ANC sitwasyon na yan. Sigurado ako mata, matututo si uh, Brian Enriquez dyan. And he had time as well, Coach Louis. Oh, oh. Ang hirap, ang hirap kasi nung si Delphi, yung, yung maaga ka na tumalon. So most likely, uh, itong si Ken Osikos will miss itong uh, holding free throw niya. Eh, yung tira pa niya, jump shooter pa siya. So, oh, oh. talagang nag-decision siya. Ang maaga. Osikos, second, wala. Pedrosa and uh, Quezon City will run out of time. And they will end the season on a 17-game losing streak. And para naman sa Mindoro Disciplinados, it's win number five. As they escape with a 79-77 victory over the Quezon City production V Fresh. Oh, and uh, alam mo yung big leap already for the Mindoro Disciplinados in this uh, compared into their last season and uh, still not yet done meron pa silang isang game it's gonna be a good game also uh, versus the Valenzuela Shore Homes and uh, what about this guy Sedal Paulo Balde yeah, Paulo Balde 25 points 11 rebounds 9 assists may 2 steals pa siya dyan and uh, most of Kanina pa dapat, nag-triple double to. May mga mintis yung mga kakampi niya na malapitan eh. Oo, oh, oh. and uh, alam mo yun, ang, ang nakainanap niya pa yung eh, mga best shooters niya eh. Pero, again, congratulations to, to the Mindoro Disciplinar, especially to that do-it-all guy in this game, itong si uh, Paolo Obalde. Punta tayo kay Andrea Indisha. First of all, congratulations. Paolo, I've seen you as a leader inside and outside of, a, of the court. How big of a role is that for you? I've seen you as a leader inside and outside of the court. How big of a role is that for you? Well, uh, all credit to my team, team, uh, team, because everybody contributed. Di ko naman magagawa lahat sa mga hindi nila sa akin. Napakadikit ng laban sa tingin mo ano yung naging susi sa pagkapanalo ninyo? Napakadikit ng laban sa tingin mo ano yung naging susi sa pagkapanalo ninyo? Ah, siguro yung ano, yung chemistry namin na sa team. Ah, may mga late nights sa usap kami. I think, I think nakatulong yun sa game namin ngayon kasi we've been going hard for the last couple of months so maybe it's due for a win. Alright, Paolo, you deserve this. Do you have any greetings or shoutouts? Uh, Unang-unang na, papasalamat ako kay Lord sa bigay na panalo sa amin. Uh, at kay Mayor, uh, Ina Alegre, uh, uh, shoutout sa iyo. Uh, ang mga teammates ko, kay Coach Buds, uh, thank you dahil sa tiwala na binibigay mo, Coach. Uh, isang karangalan yun. Tapos, uh, Ang mga sponsor namin, uh, Manila King Pain, uh, uh, um, Demigod, uh, Spinto Family, uh, Morales Family, Ubaldi Family. Shout out sa pinsan ko, si Koja. Uh, uh, lahat sila, Andre, uh, bra bra mga, mga bratitas namin. Uh, mga Arbison Family, shout out sa inyo. Moods, uh, Ashmel. Yun, uh, yun, thank you, Lord. Sa asawa ko, thank you for all the support. Lagi ka nandiyan para sa akin. 
Thank you so much. Once again, that is Paulo Hobalde, our best player of the game, who just gave us an almost triple double performance. Back to you guys. Family Salamat, Andrea, and congratulations to uh, Paulo Hobalde for that uh, almost triple double performance against the Quezon City. Tapos tapo ang coverage namin dito, and uh, for my partner, Coach Louis Gonzalez, Sports Star reporter Andrea Indicio, tapos si Dav Tupas saying goodbye for now. Tong MPBL ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino.